Hey, thank you so much for checking out the tips for creating a buy list video. Uh, this is a, an important video for everyone to watch that is uh, getting started with Replan Dashboard because there's so much data on here that sometimes I know for some of our users, it can be uh, a little bit uh, difficult to go through. Uh, and so I wanted to give some tips for if you're creating a buy list, what are the best ways to do it and as fast as possible? Uh, and so first and foremost, I want you to notice that every column here is searchable. So you can actually filter things out and it's very responsive and quick. So you can see that we've got some negative ROIs in this demo account and some positive ones. But let's say you wanna look at everything that's over a 25% ROI. You just type that in and it will pull up everything that's greater than or equal to 25%. Now, if you want everything that's a zero, uh, or sorry, a 1% or higher, right? If you put in zero, it's actually gonna default it. So I just wanted to show that to you. But uh, if you wanted to see 1% or higher, you can see all of the positive ROIs there. So that's, uh, that's helpful as well, so that you can actually sort by ROI. Additionally, let's say that you wanted to see everything from your specific store, Supermart, okay? Uh, and you wanna see everything with an ROI over 25%. Well, it'll pull up that short list for you to be able to see it. And then you can also sort this by uh, how much we believe you should buy based off 30, 60, or 90 days. Now, currently, it is sorted by 30 days. Uh, but if you made this, let's say, the 1% or higher, you can see that it's sorted by 30 as well here. But you can change it to be 60. You can actually go from uh, lowest to highest if you wanted to do that as well. Um, so yeah, you can see all of that information. So super helpful and it will make this a lot quicker for you. And if you wanted to pull out the supplier, you can do that and it will start to change all of the information as you clear that out. Additionally, I wanted to point out that for creating a buy list, these red boxes over your price means that there is a buy box price that is lower than your current price. There's somebody that is selling the product cheaper than you. So we don't want you to go out and buy 56 of an item where somebody might be $6 cheaper than you are currently. We want you to investigate that before you add that quantity to your buy list, um, which is a really important thing to do. So we wanted to some way give you a notification that, hey, these products um, are currently listed for higher than the buy box price. So you don't go and buy a bunch of products that aren't profitable anymore. So uh, that's how we, we show you that information. Again, this is a demo account, all random products, uh, nothing from our database actually, uh, whenever we created this demo account. So it's all random products. So it doesn't mean that all replens uh, are having issues right now. It's just these products, the, the fake data we put in there uh, is showing this different information. So in addition to that, as you're creating a buy list, let's say you, you decide that you want to go with everything uh, that uh, you're going to start with the high priced products and you're going to go with um, regional stores, the supplier. So you can sort it by that. You can sort it by ROI. If you want to go with the highest ROIs that are showing um, based off of your current price. Well, then you can see, okay, I want to have something uh, with a one buy list or greater. So it will pull that up. So we want you to buy at least one of these as if you have it blanked out. Well, it might show you, well, you don't need to buy any of these products yet because you haven't sold enough recently or you've sold some but have too much quantity uh, based off of your sales data. So let's start with one and say, okay, there's 42. Well, I want to buy all 42. You can click this little button and it will add 42 to your buy list. And it actually um, goes away because it goes from 42 to zero. So it actually pulls that away. Now, if you wanted to do 10 instead of the 31, you just type in 10 and it will update that information for you pretty quickly. Uh, and it actually dropped it from 31 down to 21. Here, you can do the same thing, right? So I'm going to start changing this information and just you can add these things really quickly if you just want to go with the 30 days uh, you can check out the asins by checking the keepa page for this product uh, and whenever you check you click on this keepa button it will pull open the keepa page so you can see what the history of the product is uh, and then lastly once you're done with all of that you can clear out some of this information uh, so let's clear out what you had searched and you can actually put the buy quantity of one or more and you can see everything that's in your buy list that you've added. Additionally, this also pulls over 
to the phone app, uh, which uh, pretty much automatically, but within a couple minutes, all of this information that you add to the buy list will pull over to the phone app. So your shoppers can uh, shop for those products as well. So just wanted to show you that uh, as a couple suggestions for how to use Replen dashboard to create your buy list even quicker. Uh, just use all of the sorting functions, whatever you need to do to see the highest profits, the lowest profits to, you know, greater than or equal to whatever it might be. Uh, highly recommend using these filters and the, uh, the sorting buttons to uh, create your buy list faster. And then whenever you're done, you can actually export these products um, based off of uh, your buy list. So uh, just wanted to show all of that to you. And I uh, hope that you enjoy using the, the software. And if you have any questions at all, uh, please click on this button at the bottom left and you can um, submit a, a support ticket for us, or you can look at our frequently asked questions over here in the answers tab. So thank you so much and I uh, hope you're enjoying it.